Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. It's Friday, the 26th of February, and welcome to this morning's assembly. As always, the message from us is get up, get dressed, and get learning. And of course, as it's Friday, we're, uh, we've got Miss Shallow with us for our weekly science quiz. So make sure that you've got your pen and your piece of paper at the ready um, to work out those questions. Um, and when you're joining your virtual lessons today, as always, definitely encouraged to get those cameras on, turn those microphones on and get involved. Miss Shallow, I'm ready. I can see that Mr. Karma's ready and that Mr. Walters is, is chomping at the bit for this today's science quiz. Over to you, Miss Shallow. Good morning, Bexley Heath Academy. Good morning, Mr. Napier. Um, I know you've got your pen ready, but believe it or not, um, students are actually typing in the answers straight into an email because literally at the end of assembly, I normally get emails with answers on them. So Mr. Napier, you might want to up your game a little bit. All right, good morning all once again. Today's science quiz questions are as follows. Question number one, very easy and straightforward one actually. What does DNA stand for? So the reason why I've emphasized my D and my N and my A, because they're all capital letters. So what does the DNA stand for? And question number two, how many vertebrae does the average human possess? So you might want to put your hand on your back and start counting away, hint, hint. So question number two, how many vertebrae does the average human possess? Question three, what name is given for the number of protons found in the nucleus of an atom? That's what name is given for the number of protons found in the nucleus of an atom? Question number four. What is the study of mushrooms called? What is the study of mushrooms called? And the last question from myself today is, what is the main gas that makes up the Earth's atmosphere? It's about 78% of, um, of this, actually. Okay, so email your answers to ishallow at bexleyheathacademy.org. I will now pass you over to Mr. Karma. Over to you, Mr. Karma. Hi, good morning, everyone. Oh, that's a tricky question, Ms. Shallow, especially that fourth one. I'm not sure I know what the study of mushroom is. Um, all right, so I'm talking about the um, mental health today. And actually, I, I really quite love yesterday's one about starting a conversation that, did you know? So I've got one for you guys. Did you know that the only fruit with its seed outside is the strawberry? The only fruit with its seeds outside is the strawberry. So my mental health challenge for you today, guys, is to learn a new skill without using YouTube videos. It could be, um, I, for, for example, it could be how to play a musical instrument, for example, or how to, um, how to cook a meal, how to cook your mom's favorite meal, for example, uh, or your dad's favorite meal. So that's um, the mental health challenge been weekend today friday for weekend so for saturday you could be be kind to yourself write down three things that you're proud of yourself and then for sunday maybe write a card to someone that helps you that's helped you this month just write a card you could buy a card or just writing something to someone that's been really kind to you and i'll pass it on to mr waters Thank you very much, Mr. Karma. Did you know? I have no idea what the study of mushrooms is either. So we move on together. We're not having a clue. Um, I will find out later, though. Uh, I have the pleasure of the Friday birthdays as ever. So the birthdays today, Shaley, year 11, happy birthday. Harry in year 12, happy birthday. Poppy and Lucy, both in year seven, happy birthday, guys. Enjoy your day. Of course, the weekend, Saturday, Mia in year 11, happy birthday. Jack, year nine, happy birthday. Amelia and Ellie H, both in year 11, happy birthday, guys. Janentia in year 10, have a good one, dude. And uh, Scarlet T in year 10, also have a cracking birthday. I have a few shout outs, which I need to do very, very quickly today. So, Sophie. 
in year 10 English from Mr. Pexton. A keen, insightful and mature attitude. Succinct as ever, Mr. Pexton, and thank you for that. Uh, Taylor in year 9. Innovation technology from Miss Gaskin. Uh, for, for always completing his work to a high standard. That's absolutely lovely. Um, Ava and Joe, music, Mr. Yates, for superb answers and enthusiasm in lessons. Moving on to, oh, Mr. Karma, Jacqueline in year 10, awarded by Mr. Karma for completing her work to high standard every single time. Well done, that is beautiful. Annie, finally, year eight, music, with Mr. Yates for playing superbly to the class. Well done, guys. Have a cracking Friday. Enjoy your weekends. We are genuinely excited to have the potential of having you back on site really, really soon. So I'm very much excited about that. However, I hand you over to Mr. Napier to conclude our assembly. See you soon, all. Mr. Walters, thank you. And some really great advice there from Mr. Karma, particularly like the suggestion of um, writing a card for someone, sir. And Mr. Karma, I wonder what your, your favourite meal would be if someone was to cook you um, your favourite meal. And as for the study of mushrooms, I've absolutely no idea either. So I'm definitely going to need to do some research on that one, um, Miss Shallow. Um, ladies and gents, thank you for joining us so much this morning. If you're watching us live, your period one lesson is about to start. If you're watching us later in the day, thanks for catching up with us. If you've not done so already, don't forget to download the Me Too app that Miss Collier spoke with you about earlier this week. And that's a great way to support your own mental health. As always, from us the messages are please stay at home and get stuck into your virtual lessons today keep a window open it's a beautiful day outside keep a window open to keep some fresh air circulating make sure that you're washing your hands really regularly or using a hand sanitizer and if you do need to head out at any point make sure you keep that all important two meter distance and always wear that face covering um from miss shallow in the quiz from mr walters in the shout out from mr karma and his great advice this morning and from me it's a big goodbye and we'll have a great weekend and we look forward to seeing you bright and early on monday morning bye for now everyone <laughs>